yet another reason I hate Louisiana. When I was at Fort Polk, a bunch of my friends and I went swim. There was a decent sized lake. I don't even remember what the hell it was called, but it was uh, it was outside of Fort Polk. And we would go there on occasion, and I would go swimming in it occasionally. And it taught me to never ever swim in a lake in Louisiana. We went out there. This oh my god, this was also the same time that one of my friends almost uh, overheated to death in a car. We basically all got like really drunk. One of my friends was like, I need to go lay down. So he went and laid down in my car, but all of the doors were closed. And uh, it was the middle of summer in Louisiana. <laughs> he cooked it. What? How so, is that even comfortable? How do you fall asleep in that? I do, well, he was, when you're very drunk, you will fall asleep in the most. There's a reason people choke on their own vomit when they're drunk because they're so they're asleep and they're so comfortable that they throw up and then don't wake up. Okay, I guess it makes sense. But anyway, I went back to my car to get something. And he was, I could, I looked in the back seat and he was just absolutely soaked with sweat. Jeez. And I'm like, oh my God, he will die. <laughs> so I like opened all of the doors and started like fanning him off. It's like, holy shit, dude. You are red as a tomato. Yeah. That kind of freaked me out a little bit. Anyway, we go out there at one point to go swimming. Oh man, I have, I actually have a kind of fun memory of going out there. Cause I just remember going out there and one of my, one of my friends, Dan, just being like, Man, I'm really hungry. I'm going to go get Wendy's and then leaving and coming back like an hour later with literally like 45 of the junior bacon cheeseburgers. <laughs> just like a bag filled with those. Just like I brought everybody cheeseburgers. <laughs> it's like, fuck yeah, Dan. <laughs> but we went, we went out there at one point and I was like, oh, I'm going to go paddle around in the water or whatever. So I was out in the water. Mm. I'm out there swimming. And then suddenly I'm just like, oh God, oh God, this, oh God, this hurts so bad. What is happening? What is happening right swimming now? Swimming cramp. But it was in my balls. Testicle swimming cramp. I, dude, I developed testicular torsion. So I like, I, I quickly, like as, as quickly as I can, come out of the water. <laughs> uh-huh. Pull my, my swimming pants open to look and see what the fuck is going on in there. <laughs> and there is a leech <laughs> on my testicle. Oh no! Just hanging out on my nut. Got all those teeth right in your testy. That is the most horrified I've ever been in my entire life. <laughs> that was single-handedly more terrifying than getting mortared. <laughs> is looking down and seeing a leech on your testicles. <laughs> he had swum because I had I had swimming shorts, but they didn't have the netting in them. So he just went whoop right up there and was just like, hey, what the hell is this thing? This looks good. <laughs> right onto him. Let me just count. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's too many things down there. That's oh no. <laughs> fortunately, I know a thing or two about leeches because this, I don't want to say fortunately. But fortunately. For, me, for me, fortunately, this was not the first time I had a leech get stuck on me. Yeah. Just the first time it got down there. First time it had gotten there, which where, was absolutely terrifying. Where was your first time? The first time it was on one of my legs. Ah. Uh, it was like it was when I was younger. I was wading around in like a small pond. Usually you don't notice. Like, like usually it's not that bad. Okay. When something with teeth grabs onto the skin of one of your testicles, <laughs> you kind of notice. Yeah, yeah. If you get a leech on you, do not pour salt on it. Do not set it on fire. Do not pour salt on it. Right. They vomit. And yes. Then, and then the vomit goes into the wound. and it's, Yes. It's, it's, it's if rough. you pour salt onto a leech, it does the same thing as when you pour salt onto a slug, which is they go, Aah! and they like bubble up. and shri It's actually really mean and really gross. I, not to leeches. I don't give a fuck about <laughs> leeches. I don't like parasites. But to, to slugs, I feel bad. I feel bad if you pour salt on a slug. Is it really a parasite, though? Maybe it's a symbiote. It gets blood. You get your testicles sucked. Everyone wins. Everyone wins. So, hey man, hey man, no wait, hang on, hang on. I see that salt, I see it. <laughs> listen, listen, hear me out, hear me out. You let me hang out down here, I make them look bigger. You wear some tight fitting pants, you go to the bar, everybody wins. You, you, you let me stay here, I'll make sure you never want a girlfriend. <laughs> I've pleased many people by sucking on their testicles. I have 34 positive reviews on Yelp. Oh God. <laughs> anyway, if a leech grabs onto you, you should not pour salt on it or burn it. So for this one, you just tickled it. I just gave him a little kimble. And he was like, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> oh, you. Oh. Um, what you do, if you uh, go. Let me, let me guess what you did. You either cut it with a knife, which I'm say, I'm going to guess you probably didn't do. You, pr you probably heated a metal object and touched it with a hot object until it fell off. 
No, that, that's the same thing as setting it on fire. You don't want to do that. Well, you, you don't set it on fire, but you do give it pain until it backs off. If you make it experience pain, the first thing it's going to do is go Bleh! and throw up because it's trying to make itself lighter. Oh. So it's, it's expelling its engorged stomach contents. I see. What you do if you get a leash on you is you take a, a knife. You can even use a credit card, which is what I did in this instance. Oh, so it's the same thing with ticks. Yeah, kind of. You take a thin bladed object, like a credit card or whatever, and you slide it under first its tail. His leech actually have two grabbers. They got the one on their mouth, and then they got one on their tail. Oh, okay. So you let you you use the little tail grabber, and you let it kind of like grab onto something else. Because if you try to just undo its mouth, it's gonna hold on with its tail real tight. I see. So you undo it, you undo its tail, and then then you undo its mouth and then throw it away. I see. And then you can pour salt on it or whatever. <laughs> fuck leeches. Yeah. But yeah, I was not really happy with the fact that I was like, oh, fuck, there's a goddamn leech on me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's on my testicles. Did you scream or did you drop your trousers and start running around? What I did is I immediately ripped my pants off and then I ran around wiggling at everybody going, look, look, I got a leech on me. Look at it. Look at it. No. <laughs> this is a learning experience. Man, don't run away. I had to find a somewhat private place over by my car. I, I basically went and, like, sat on the back seat of my car and had to do what I had to do mm -hmm. with the leech. And then you got arrested for, uh... Public indecency. Yeah. The leech was on there, so I was like, you know what? This is all just a write-off. Let's just cut it <laughs> off now. Get it over with. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you sucked it dry. There's nothing left. I went to the medics the next day, and I was like, yeah, when I was swimming, there was a leech on my testicles. Can I, like, get an STD or something? And they're like, <laughs> what? No, I mean, like, it takes, here's some antibiotics, I guess. Maybe if you jammed it up your butt, I don't know. <laughs> I, legitimately, I legitimately went to the medics the next day, and I was like, I was swimming, and there was a leech on my testicles. What do I do? <laughs> well, did you get rid of it? Yeah. D did you need me to keep it so you could check it? <laughs> I kept it. What do you do? <laughs> This leech was on my balls, and I'm just, like, slamming it into his face. <laughs> it's like snakes. You gotta capture it so you can tell what anti-venom you need. I hate Louisiana. <laughs> Do you have any more fun stories about your balls? N none that I really need to share. It's just, like, that was absolutely horrifying. So, <laughs> that it, sense of dread. Yeah, it's just this absolute sense of dread of there is a parasite, and it is on my balls. <laughs> I'm not talking about my wife. Ah! <laughs> Boomer jokes. <laughs> so stupid.